Hello and welcome to Martin Mats. Before watching this video, if you have not watched our previous video on the different sets of numbers, please do watch it. it the link will be in the description below. Today's video is about counting the set of rational numbers. But before we get started with that, we first have to define why or when a set is considered countable. A set is considered countable only if each element in that set can be associated with a distinct element of the natural numbers. So, so let's have an example. Consider set S, and the elements of this set are randomly uh, minus 26, 26, 27, and 28. So we have to associate each of these elements with an element of the natural numbers. So let's have all the natural numbers here. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 and the elements of s here 26 26 27 and 28 so we can associate the element of negative 26 with the natural number 1 and 26 with 2 and so on so of course that is a fancy way of saying we have to put the elements of s in order so for a set to be countable its elements must be placed in a specific order And if you didn't notice, that was also placed, the numbers were also placed in increasing order there. So let's start with the different sets of numbers. First, we have the natural numbers. How do we count the natural numbers? Well, we start off with 0, since it's the smallest natural number. And 0 is considered a natural number in the IB diploma. And then we just count every positive integer that follows. Next, we have to count the set of integers. So, in the set of integers, we can't use the same trick as we did with the set of natural numbers, because if we try to count all of the positive integers first, we won't, we won't get to the negative integers, because the positive integers are infinite. And we can't, and the same goes for the negative integers. So what we have to do is we have to alternate between positive and negative integers. So, as always, we start with zero, then we go 1, negative 1, 2, negative 2, 3, negative 3, and so on. Now, if a set is countable, it doesn't mean that one can count all the elements in that set, because each set has infinite elements. Counting just means placing the elements in order. So now we've counted the natural numbers and the integers. So now let's move on to the next set, the rational numbers. Now, now the rational numbers aren't really that easy because uh, there are an infinite set of rational numbers in between the integers 0 and 1 because the rational numbers are fractions so you so you could have so you could have literally any fraction you could have 1 over 2 3 over 4 etc etc so how can we place these fractions into some order the best way to do this is to do it in a form of a chart so like that in this chart, all the fractions have been placed in such a way that going horizontally means increasing the numerator. So from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5. And then going vertically means increasing the denominator. So that's from 1 over 1 to 1 over 5. Now, some of these fractions are repeated, and those are the ones that are in circles. So 2 over 2 is just another form of 1 over 1. So it is not its own rational number. The same goes for 2 over 4, which is a form of 1 over 2. So again, it cannot be counted twice as a rational number. But now that we've organized uh, rational numbers that go from 1 over 1 to 5 over 5, how do we actually count them? We can't go in rows because, as indicated by the ellipses here, the, each row goes on forever. And we can't go by the columns because each column also goes on forever. So the only other way left is to count in diagonals. So the best thing to start, the best, the best thing to do is to start with the top left corner and go horizontally. So you count from 1 over 1 to 2 over 1, and then go diagonally down to 1 over 2. Notice how we're counting from a fraction to its reciprocal. And then from 1 over 2, we go down to 1 over 3, and then we go to 2 over 2, but we skip it because 2 over 2 is just 1 over 1. Then we continue on to the reciprocal of 3 over 1. Then we go to 4 over 1. We go diagonally down to 3 over 2. 
then to 2 over 3, and then to the reciprocal 1 over 4. And we continue in this pattern, skipping the circled fractions. And like that, we will cover each and every fraction without missing one, but we'll keep on going for infinity. So that is the way to count rational numbers. But that, but if you've noticed, this is, these are all the positive rational numbers. There's still zero and the negative rational numbers. So we have certain counting techniques that we've learned. From the natural numbers, we learned to start with zero. And then from the integers, we learned to alternate between positive and negative elements. And so we use the same techniques to count the rational numbers. We start with zero, and then since our first number is one over one, that we write that here, one over one. Then we put its negative counterpart. Then we go to the next element, which is two over one. So then we place two over one, and its counterpart, negative two over one. And then the same, we have one half is next. So we write a half and negative a half, and so on. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share, and watch our other videos.